The streets of Las Vegas are brimming with neon lights and the hustle and bustle of fast cars and faster women. Hey honey, you looking for a good time? I'm looking for whatever you got. I've got it all. Depends on what you're willing to pay. Dig in them pockets, daddy. Well, I don't have any money, but what do you think about this? I could snort that. Or I could smoke that. I could even shoot that. I'll take one of each. Whoa, whoa, honey. You can't have it all. All the drugs, that is. Meet me at Caesar's Palace for $39.50. Harvey and Sparkle meet up in room 3950 and have a night of delight. The next morning, Sparkle shoots up in bed with a dreadful feeling. Shit! I think I'm pregnant. Bitch, you better not be pregnant. I don't have time for a kid and neither do you, you hooker. I've got drugs to deal and you've got men to lay. You better figure this out! Sparkle runs to the bathroom and takes a pregnancy. some bad news. All right, lay it on me. No, stay, stay over there. What's the bad news? <sighs> I'm pregnant. And the good news? Well, there isn't really any good news, but I saw a nice dumpster out back that could use a baby in it. Good. I ain't being no baby daddy. Now here's your drugs. Good riddance. Nine months later, Sparkle gives birth to baby Eddie. She returns to the dumpster by Caesar's palace and throws Eddie inside. The next morning, however, was garbage pickup day and the garbage man was greeted by an unusual sound coming from the dumpster. After living his life with his adoptive family, Eddie runs away. He begins a life of crime, drugs, and adultery. He ends up in jail with charges of theft, battery, and drug use. He gets to jail and from the start does not hit it off with his cellmate, Harvey. One day, Harvey steals Eddie's cigarettes and Eddie becomes irate and shanks Harvey because of his horrible temper and withdrawal of his drugs. After he kills Harvey, Eddie has a reality check and begins good behavior. Because of this good behavior, Eddie is let out early with parole. Go. Hey, Maury, how's it hanging? Pretty good now that I don't have to look after your delinquent ass. <laughs> I wasn't that bad. Eddie, come on. You killed a guy. You were one of my worst. People change, Maury. You've seen for yourself. Look at me now. I'm a, I'm a changed man. I've got a little homework for you, though. Oh, boy. What now? What do you mean, what now? Don't you want to help out an old friend? An old friend? Is that what you call yourself? It's the same old shit every time you come around. Help me do this, Maury. Look this up for me, Maury. Maury, Maury, Maury. Point taken, but I still need your help. This is important. That's what you said about everything, but I really don't think the name of your mailman was that important. Uh, you know, true, but my mailman, you know, we have better uh, greetings in the morning now. Oh, thank God. So what is it this time? Well, I would really appreciate it if you could help me find out who my biological parents are. Whoa, this is pretty big. Not quite at your usual request of taking care of parking tickets. I'll see what I can do. Oh, hey, Maury. Uh, what do you got for me? Well, Eddie, I'm not sure if you want to know. Come on, just tell me. I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't want to know. Trust me, Eddie. Maybe you're better off not knowing. You've gotten this far. Through. Damn it, Maury! You're pissing me off! Just tell me! Eddie, calm down. You're supposedly my friend, and I'm doing what's best for you. Oh, well, if we're talking about what's best for ourselves, I should remind you that you're not even a real cop. You're just a... You know, you put yourself up on this pedestal. You're, you're just a parole officer. What do you think about that? Fine. You really want to know the truth? Of course. I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't want to know the truth. Your mom was a hooker and your dad was a drug dealer. And you know what? They gave you gonna 
No. You're a liar. You wanted the truth, now you've got it. So hopefully you haven't been sleeping around, because that means you've given Ghana Editis to the whole town. And I've seen you coming out of the Pussycat Club quite a bit lately. You better be keeping it in your pants. I don't believe you. You're just mad because I said you're not a real cop, you're just a phony, and you're just trying to get under my skin. with a dreadful feeling. Shoot it. Sparkle, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> that sound coming from the dumpster. Oh, shit, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. What? What the hell sounds like a kid? Oh, shit. Really appreciate it if you could help me find out my bi who my bio biological parents are. Can oh. I redo that? <laughs> gotten this far throughout life. I'm sure you can make it through the Damn rest. it, Maura, you're pissing me off. Tell me. <laughs> oh, well, if we... Uh, let me, let me... So.